just a sad situation because this little thing's fucking expensive. <gasps> I just lost another pan. Hey everybody, it's Makeup Meanery. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome to my channel. I do all kinds of hair videos, makeup videos. I do a lot of easy makeup application. Sometimes it doesn't always go the way that we plan. So if you guys are interested in that kind of video, make sure to hit the subscribe button before you leave. Also the notification bell so you guys know when I post. And of course, if you are returning, what up? Y'all know what's gonna be going on. <laughs> channel a little bit of foolery so today i wanted to go ahead and do a what's in my like makeup travel bag i did do a what's in my makeup bag before not a travel makeup bag video but just like what i carry around in general because i'm one of those people that carries a huge ass duffel bag of makeup even though i don't need it i carry it with me i don't carry a purse so i mean don't judge me i'll link that video up here in the eye for you guys if you wanted to check that out but this is a little bit different uh this is what i pack when i travel to get started so i firstly is always get these caboodle bags this one i've had for a long time now it has some stuff in there obviously that we'll discuss here in a few minutes but i love this bag because it's got a lot of room it's got pockets it zips all the way up it has handles and yeah, when I travel, I will use this as a makeup bag and like all of my toiletries, it all fits in one bag. Everything's in one place. I don't have, you know, all these different bags to worry about. So I always use these bags. I have ordered this bag probably four or five different times. I actually need to go ahead and try to find it again because this one's getting a little beat up. If I can find these bags, I will link it for you in the description box below. I think they run between $15 and $20 and I literally will use these for at least two years or so before they start falling apart and I use this every day. So yeah, this is the bag that I use on a daily and this is also a bag that I use to travel with. I put my makeup in and then I also have gotten into the habit of using these little Ipsy bags. Now, I don't know if you guys are familiar with Ipsy. I had Ipsy for years until I just sort of got sick of all the little, you know, samples that they were sending out. No shade to Ipsy, but I want some real makeup and not like samples of chapsticks and creams and all that foolery. But the only thing that I really, really liked about Ipsy was they sent all these cute little bags out. Every month you get a different bag. And so I just kept all these and these work amazing for travel. And also for regularly using my makeup bag because I can put certain things in these and it keeps it all organized. It's not like I'm digging through the bottom of the bag for everything. I'll put like all eye products in this one or I'll put, you know, like face products in one. And those seem to work really, really well. So these come in clutch, like clutch, clutch. i be organizing everything into these little bags and showing you guys what I bring when I go on trips which I am going to be going on a trip here shortly. So this video is just gonna go over like the makeup items that I bring. I'm not gonna talk about hair products and stuff because that's a whole nother video, but this will be just like makeup related like brushes, you know, the makeup foundation, that kind of thing. So let's go ahead and get started. You guys seen the bag, there was a few items in there. I'll just briefly go over what's in there already. I just have some bobby pins and then I have some safety pins in there, which is not makeup related, but it's already in the bag. I ain't taking it out, it stays in there. I always carry safety pins because I've had my jeans, like my buttons pop before, my zippers pop, and you ain't never gonna catch me out with a pop zipper anymore. So I always carry safety pins, and there have been several occasions where I was out with friends and they needed them. It's, it's random, but I always have them. And then I just have a few of these little like emergency makeup wipes, an oil, uh, oil A facial one, and then I have this little vitamin E cleanser. I don't even know who this is from. It's just like a little towelette one. If you guys have watched any of my like skincare videos or anything like that, you know that I don't use makeup wipes to remove my makeup. I use strictly only these makeup uh, towelettes, microfiber ones. I absolutely love these. I don't use anything else. I will link videos with my like skincare routine up here. So if you guys wanna check that out, but yeah, I use these and I'll usually bring one of these with me, which is why is this sitting right here. So this will be also going to the bag. Okay, let's get started. Let me put this junk back on the goods, on all the makeup stuff that I actually bring. So let me go ahead and start with lip products because I don't really wear a lot of lipstick. Especially if I'm traveling, I try not to bring a lot of lipstick. I guess it depends on the trip. If I knew I was gonna be like dressed up more on specific trips, I would probably bring more lipstick. But we might go out once or twice for a nice dinner, but that'll require a whole shit ton of lipstick, so I ain't bringing a whole bunch. I am, let me see what I did with the lipstick that I do have. Of course, it's all nudes, because that's what I do, you know, nudes. 
I don't do anything else. Where is the other lipstick? I just saw her. Where is she at? So the lipsticks that I bring, I like to bring stuff that's sort of nice and compact. So I have a Sephora lipstick here. This is a nude one in the color, let's see, color 40. And I love this lipstick. I use that all the time. I'm going to be putting these in this little outer pocket here too, so you guys can see where they're going when I put them in the bag. The next one that I'm bringing is just a Wet n Wild lip liner. It's a lip liner, but I really like wearing this for a lipstick. It stays on pretty well. It's a pretty color. Again, it's a nude. I like to carry that also because it's really small and easy to carry. And then I just got this. I swear I'm losing everything. I just got this the other day by LA Colors. And I like it because it's got a actual lipstick in there, which rolls up. And then it has a lip liner. So the colors are a little different. The lip liner is a little darker. So you actually get like two lipsticks in one. And it's easy to carry. So that one goes. And I think for a lipstick, that's about it. I ain't carrying a whole bunch of lipstick with me. That is all I'm taking in regards to lipstick. Okay, so the next thing is gonna be my brow products. So let me see if I can find, I swear I am, if y'all can see the hot mess on my desk, I, I should be a little more organized, but you know, y'all know that goes. So the next thing is my brow products. So for the first thing, of course, I'm bringing my Wet n Wild brow pencil. This is my favorite brow pencil of all time. It's like three or four dollars, super small, and there, and then we have a nice spoolie. So she is going to go in, let me see if I can find a little container, I may be doubling up some of these. I'm going to use this one to put my brow products in, so I'm putting the uh, brow pencil in there. I also am bringing my Anastasia Dip Brow in the color dark brown. Also the brow pencil, the Wet n Wild one is in dark brown as well. And so I'm going to bring that along with a little brow brush. And that's the Anastasia one that I absolutely love. The reason is because I've been doing these thick bushy brows, you know, feeling like, you know, more natural lately, but it requires a couple more products than I usually use. Um, I did do a video on that. If you guys want to watch that, I will link it up there for you guys in the box. Also, I'm bringing the Ardell Sculpting Brow Gel. Again, for me doing these bushy brows, this is, you know, important to have my brows stay where they're supposed to stay. Those few items I put in this bag, I'm also going to put my eyeliner and my mascara in there because I got plenty of room. So, on to my mascara, of course, my Maybelline Colossal, which this one's a little ratty. I have another one that I'll open up and use before I leave. That goes in that bag. Okay, so in case I want to use some eyeliner, which I haven't been wearing any eyeliner lately, I've been hella lazy with my makeup, just in case, I'm going to put in the NYX uh, Liquid Eyeliner. This is one of my favorite eyeliners, and I like the brush. It's real small. You get a real precise line. Well, <laughs> that's not precise, but you get what I'm saying. Anyway, um, so I'm going to put that in there. Just in case, I'm going to bring some of my Duo Eyelash Glue and just a pair of my favorite eyelashes. These are the uh, Beauty Six Secret 630. I get these at Walmart. I'm going to be having eyelash extensions again, so I'm probably not going to need these, but just in case, you never know, you got to be prepared. And it doesn't take up that much room anyway, so anyway. All that fit nicely in here, and I still have room in case I wanted to put a few more things in there. That's gonna go in the big bag there. I have another little bag. I think I'm gonna use this one. It's got different colors on it. This was also, like I said, an Ipsy bag. So the next thing I'm gonna put in there are face products. So the face products that I'm gonna be using, I think I'm gonna be bring. well, of course I'm gonna bring the Urban Cover uh, Foundation. This literally is almost gone. I've been using this all summer long. I did a video on this, a wear test. I will link it up here in the box for you guys if you want to check it out. This literally has been my favorite foundation since I found it. I have not been wearing anything else. I absolutely love it, so she's coming with me. And then just, just because sometimes I like to change it up, I'm going to bring in the Milani Conceal and Correct Foundation. I've been mixing these two together on occasion. This color is a little off. It's a little casket ready. <laughs> it's like too cool. It's in O2 natural, but if I mix it with this, it's fine. So I'm gonna bring these two just because, you know, you wanna have a little extra backup just in case. Then I'm bringing the Age Rewind Concealer because this is my favorite fucking concealer ever. I love it under your eyes. It doesn't crease. It is nice and moisturizing. So if you have more mature skin or extra dry skin, 
This is a really, really good concealer to use. I suggest you try it. And it's, you know, it's affordable. It's Maybelline. And then I have been using this e.l.f. Luminous Foundation Primer. I love this stuff. It's so pretty. It helps to keep my makeup in place. So she's coming with. And then I have this tiny little stroke cream by MAC. Just in case I'm wanting, you know, a little extra shine. She's going in that bag as well. And I think that is, oh, let me go ahead and put this. And I'll put that in another little bag. So that's going to be it for this bag. Close her up. Put her away. Okay, so the next bag I think I'm going to use, maybe I'll use this little red one. This bag I'm going to go ahead and put in like my blush, my contour, that kind of thing. I am going to go ahead and put in my Wet n Wild Highlight. Uh, this is actually the second one I have. I went and bought this one new today because I used the other one up. Love this highlight. Super pretty. They have some that are um, a little more pink and a little more gold. Those work really, really well on darker skin, uh, fair skin, or people my shade. This works really, really good. I love this. My favorite new blush that I've been wearing is by LA Colors, and you can see it was $1.50. Like, this is my favorite blush I've had in a long time. It's got sort of that orangey golden tone to it. Absolutely love this stuff. I should go buy some more before they like are gone. That's going in the bag. I have this powder that's in an old Bare Minerals con container. This is not Bare Minerals. I used to love Bare Minerals back in the day, but this is just my uh, Laura Mercier powder that's in there. So I just have enough in there just for a couple days. I don't want to bring the whole big container. You know, Laura Mercier's powder is in the biggest fucking container ever. So I just usually keep these little empty shells and put some in there and it works perfect. Next for my contour, I'm gonna be using the LA Colors Pressed Powder. This color is in the dark, in the color Ebony. I like these because they're sort of thinner. They're just easier to pack into things. Sometimes I will bring the e.l.f. Um, like little compacts. I'll show you guys these, but I'm not gonna bring them on this trip this time, but you can see that they're very well loved because they're easy to travel with. There's a contour one and then there's a blush one. These are e.l.f. And I like these because it has a really big mirror on there and then you can see that it has four different powders to choose from. And these are usually what I bring with me. And this is the same kit, but in a blush, uh, you know, it's got blush in it instead. So these are really, really good to travel with. Like I said, they're super, they're not super big. They're easy to sort of pack away and they're pretty safe and sturdy so they can get, you know, jostled around a little bit. <laughs> they don't break on you. So I'm going to be bringing, this is a new RK by Kiss. I have not tried this yet, but I needed a bronzer. So I'm going to be bringing this with me. I'll probably try it a few times before I use it just to make sure it's not trash. But I thought this was really, really pretty for a uh, sort of a, um, you know, for a bronzer. So I'm going to bring that with me. That goes in that bag too. That's what this little bag is. So she's zipped up and put in here. So next I just have a few loose items like brushes and things that I'm going to put in there. I'm using this e.l.f. Uh, makeup sponge for the last couple weeks and I absolutely love this sponge. I think I love it better than the actual um, beauty blender. So this is like five or six dollars so she's going. And I usually would use this the night before or the morning of my travel so it's still a little wet. So all I do is get um, a couple of these little plastic hair, you know, hair thingies and put her in there so that it doesn't get everything wet or you know just doesn't get gross i am taking uh my nyx matte finish spray of course because it's my favorite spray and let me see i have a little thing of q-tips i usually stuff in there real quick last little makeup that i usually will take is some type of eyeshadow I don't, like I said, plan on doing my eyeshadow too much on this trip, but just in case, I'm gonna be bringing my Urban Decay, my little mini naked palette. <laughs> Made me sad because all the colors are there, but you can see the black broke out. It's just a sad situation because this little thing's fucking expensive no, situation because this little thing's fucking no, expensive. No, God, please, no, 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 <gasps> no! I just lost another pan. Okay, so we're not going to be flinging her around because she's flying, she's flying pieces out. That makes me mad because this little thing is expensive. Pack that away. I'm going to have to go ahead and put some alcohol on that and fix her because she's not being a team player. <laughs> anyway, I am taking this with me. It does have some nice shades in it just in case I want to do a little bit of an eye look. I can use this and it doesn't take up a lot of space. 
And then the last things that I'm gonna be putting in there are makeup brushes. So I'm gonna bring just four big makeup brushes and then a couple like eyeshadow brushes just in case. So these are just two Morphe brushes. One's a super fluffy one, one is one to pack, you know, shadow on. So I'm bringing both of those. Brushes I have are a fan brush, that's for contour. Um, I do have a link for these brushes. I got them on Amazon. They are amazing. So I will link that in the description box so you guys can check out these brushes. But that's one from that set. This is a crown brush and another crown brush. These I got at um, a makeup show. I don't think I can find these without their professional brushes. Anyway, this is the Precision Powder SS024 by Crown. And that, as you can see, is my blush brush. I have just a regular uh, dry powder brush. Like I said, this is by Crown, but I've had it for so long, there ain't nothing on there for y'all to see. Brush is just a little crazy generic brush I got from somewhere, and I use this for my highlight and stuff, and that's it. So that's gonna go in there. That's all that I'm gonna be putting in my makeup bag for makeup, so I'll show you guys what all that looks like. So you can see I still have a good amount of room. If I were to set these up on their side, I still have a whole big space on one side to put more stuff. And like I said, that's why I love this makeup bag because I can stick a lot of stuff in there. It's all in one place, makeup, toiletries, everything in one bag. And you know, I don't have to worry about carrying several different bags around. That is all the makeup that I'm gonna be taking on my trip. If you guys have any questions about any of the products that I've talked about, make sure to comment below. Also make sure to like, share, and subscribe. I will see you guys next time. I'm sweating under here.